Let's look at question one. The delivery truck shown below is used to transport ice. Part A. Explain how the white mist was formed. Now let's look at the diagram carefully. The white mist are actually visible water droplets. Next, we look at the interior of the truck. The truck has a cold interior to keep ice from melting during transportation. The area outside the truck has warm air, which contains warm water vapour. When the warm water vapour came to contact with the colder air from the truck, the process of condensation will take place. Condensation refers to the change from gas to liquid. Let us take a look at the answer. Warm water vapour from the surrounding air came into contact, lost heat to the colder air from the truck and condensed to form tiny water droplets. These form the white mist. Let's take a look at part B. Why did a white mist disappear? The white mist would have disappeared after moving a distance away from the truck. So the white mist disappeared because it had evaporated to form water vapour, which is not visible. Evaporation refers to the change from liquid to gas. Let us take a look at the answer. The water droplets gain heat from the warmer surrounding air and evaporate it to form water vapour. The reason for its disappearance was that water vapour is not visible. Let's take a look at part C. How will the plastic strips help to keep the ice from melting for a longer time? There are two key concepts we should focus on. The first one is about the property of plastic. Plastic is a poor conductor of heat. Thus, it will help to slow down the heat gain by the ice from the warmer air outside the truck. The second one is about the process of melting. Melting refers to a change from solid to liquid, and it requires a heat gain in the process. Let us take a look at the answer. Plastic is a poor conductor of heat. The strips will slow down the heat gain by the ice from the warmer surrounding air outside. To add on, the plastic strips also help to block warmer air from entering the truck and colder air inside from escaping. Let's look at question 2. Bird K lays its egg in the nest of bird L. Then it flies away. The eggs of both birds look similar. Part A. What is the advantage to bird K in laying its egg in bird L's nest? Now, let's examine the likely characteristics of the two birds based on the statements in the question. Since bird K lays its egg in other birds' nests, one likely characteristic is that bird K does not build its own nest. Since bird K flies away after laying its egg, one other likely characteristic is that bird K does not take care of its young. On the other hand, the likely characteristics of bird L is that it hatches its eggs and provides food for its young. The purpose of the eggs looking similar also gives bird K an advantage. Let us now look at the answer. Bird L will mistake the egg of bird K for its own and will provide warm to hatch it. Thereafter, it will help to feed the young of bird K. Let us now take a look at part B. After hatching, the young of bird K grows faster and larger than the young of bird L. It pushes the young of bird L out from the nest. Question: How will this affect the population of bird L after some time? Explain your answer. 
does the population increase, decrease, or stay the same? The key idea here is whether bird L's reproduction and or death rate is affected by bird K's action. Let us now take a look at the answer. The population of bird L will decrease. Its young will not be able to survive outside the nest. They will not be fed by parent bird L and will be more easily spotted and eaten by predators. There will be less of its young developing into adults to reproduce. Since the death rate is higher and the reproduction rate is lower, the population of bird L will decrease. Let's now look at part C. Bird L builds its nest close to the nests of others of its own species. Will the population of bird K increase, decrease, or remain the same? Explain your answer. The two key ideas here are When is it likely for bird K to lay its eggs? Is bird K's reproduction and or death rate affected by bird L's action? Let us now look at the answer. The population of bird K will decrease. More of bird L will be close by to guard the empty nests when the parents are away looking for food. It will be more difficult for bird K to lay its eggs to reproduce, thus leading to a lower reproduction rate and a decrease in population.